The rapid industrial development that began in the 20th century demanded more and more diverse mineral resources. With each new decade, the areas of quarries for extracting coal, iron, and aluminum ores kept expanding. The volume of work at such sites could be measured in millions of cubic meters. To handle the transportation of such large amounts of raw materials, regular dump trucks were no longer enough. Giant deposits required equally giant transport, and that transport came in the form of specialized mining dump trucks. You could call them true goliaths, carrying hundreds of tons of bulk cargo on their backs and raising the efficiency of the mining industry to levels never seen before. Let's take a look together at the brightest and biggest trucks that belong to the class of mining dump trucks. And we'll start with the pioneer of this industry, the Euclid Company from Ohio, owned by George Armington and his five sons. Since its founding in 1909, this company has been engaged in the development and production of heavy trucks and various equipment for earth-moving operations. While in the 1920s, Euclid mainly built scrapers, by the mid-1930s the company's production lineup included its own heavy quarry trucks. These were the Euclid Z1 dump trucks. Later, an entire series of our trucks was introduced, as well as the 20-ton diesel Euclid FD dump trucks. The peak of the company's development came in the early 50s. It was at that time that one of the largest quarry dump trucks of that era was created, the heavy tractor-trailer Euclid 1LLB, which was a modification of the three-axle quarry truck of the same name. The tractor operated in tandem with a two-axle semi-trailer with a payload capacity of 120 tons. A distinctive feature of this giant road train's design was its four vertical exhaust pipes, which were positioned in front of the cab on a massive, wide hood. This design wasn't just a whim of the designers to make their truck stand out among other similar vehicles. This was due to the fact that this behemoth was powered by not one, but two diesel engines, initially Cummins engines with 375 horsepower each, and later General Motors engines with 475 horsepower each. After its career as a quarry hauler ended, the Euclid 1LD truck was upgraded with an additional front axle and transformed into a powerful road super hauler, which carried out extremely challenging transport missions. Euclid's achievements were overshadowed by another division of General Motors, Terex, which specialized in the production of heavy industrial and construction equipment. It was Terex, in 1973, in the city of London, Ontario, Canada, that built a true giant in the world of quarry dump trucks at one of its factories. The model was the Terex 3319 Titan. The official presentation of this truck took place in 1974 at the American Mining Congress exhibition in Las Vegas. This was a three-axle truck with impressive dimensions, 20 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 7 meters high. Its own curb weight was 228 tons. The Terex could carry an incredible 320 tons of cargo. To set this giant, with a total mass of over half a thousand tons, in motion, GM engineers used the locomotive diesel-electric powertrain, which included a 16-cylinder V-type diesel engine with a displacement of 169 liters and a power output of 3,300 horsepower, as well as four electric motors installed in each of the four rear dual wheels. The electric drive was also used for steering control. At the same time, the wheels of the rear axle could also turn by a small degree. When fully loaded, the truck could reach a maximum speed of 48 kilometers per hour. Built as a one-of-a-kind vehicle, the Terex Titan was operated for 17 long years at a Canadian coal mine. Then, in 1991, the truck was restored and installed as a tourist attraction on a pedestal in the Canadian city of Sparwood. For a quarter of a century, the Terex Titan remained in the Guinness Book of Records as the largest truck in the world. That was until the late 90s, when another American automotive company, Caterpillar, entered the mining equipment market with its famous Cat 797 series. This truck featured a two-axle design with a traditional mechanical transmission, instead of the now common diesel-electric powertrain used in mining dump trucks. The Caterpillar 997 series had the following dimensions, a length of 14 and a half meters, a width of 9 meters, and a height of 7 meters. The truck's curb weight was 321 tons, and its payload capacity was 327 tons, which allowed it to break the record held by the Terex Titan for a long 25 years. The truck was equipped with two sequentially connected Caterpillar V-Type 12-cylinder diesel engines, with a total displacement of 106 liters and a power output of 3,400 horsepower. The engines operated in tandem with a 7-speed planetary gearbox mounted on the rear axle. 
The transmission is computer controlled and additionally equipped with a lock torque converter and final drive reducers. In 2002, the truck's power unit was specially upgraded for the 797B version and its output was increased to 3,550 horsepower. The payload capacity of the upgraded dump truck rose to 345 tons. But that's not all. In 2008, another modification of the dump truck, the 797F, was released. The machine received a new, more fuel-efficient 12-cylinder diesel engine with 4,000 horsepower, equipped with a common rail system, intercooling, and four turbochargers. The payload capacity of the newest version of the dump truck increased to 363 tons. The appearance of the 797 series truck at the end of the 90s, and later its modifications, set the standard that other leading manufacturers of mining trucks aspire to reach. It didn't take long for the Belarusian automobile plant to present their own new model. In 2005, that new model was the Bele Z75600 mining dump truck, with a payload capacity of 320 tons. Unlike the Caterpillar, the Belarusian truck had a diesel-electric powertrain, which consisted of an 18-cylinder Cummins diesel engine with a displacement of 78 liters and a power output of 3,500 horsepower, as well as two motor wheels. In 2008, the Belarusians presented an updated modification of the Bele Z75601 dump truck. The new version was equipped with an MTU diesel engine with a power output of 3,800 horsepower, which allowed the vehicle's payload capacity to be increased to 360 tons. That same year, another mining giant appeared on the scene, the Komatsu 960E. Built in Japan, this two-axle dump truck with a payload capacity of 327 tons was powered by an 18-cylinder Cummins engine with 3,500 horsepower and two electric motors. In 2016, the new Komatsu 980E-4 modification, with a payload capacity of 369 tons, managed to surpass the American Caterpillar. The elite club of giants was also joined by the German-Swiss conglomerate Liedhoe with its T284 dump truck model, which was built in 2012. The machine was equipped with Cummins or MPU diesel engines with power ranging from 3.5 to 4,000 horsepower, as well as two electric motors. With its payload capacity of 363 tons, the German truck matched the Caterpillar 979F mining dump truck. Terex also returned to the heavyweight league, presenting its super truck, the unit rig MT6300AC, at the end of the 2000s. This truck was equipped with a 12-cylinder MTU diesel engine with a displacement of 90 liters and a power output of 3,750 horsepower, along with a pair of electric motors in the wheels. With its payload capacity of 363 tons, the unit rig matched its competitors Caterpillar and Lieber. As we can see, the heavy-duty mining dump trucks from the world's leading automotive companies, like elite professional athletes, were separated by mere fractions, differences that, in the case of these trucks, came down to technical specifications or dimensions. But that was the case until 2013 when Belarus raised the bar for mining dump truck specifications to an unprecedented level by unveiling a true mining giant, the Bele Z75710. It became the largest two-axle mining dump truck in the world. The truck has a payload capacity of 450 tons, a curb weight of 390 and a half tons, and a gross weight of 840 and a half tons. The truck is equipped with two MTU Detroit diesel V-shaped 16-cylinder engines. Each engine is AV4000, producing 2,330 horsepower. Since 2013, only one truck has been manufactured, while three more are still undergoing testing. Despite the impressive size of the Belarusian trucks, their payload capacity was almost doubled by the unique ETF MT240 truck, developed by the Slovenian company ETF Trucks. By its design, this is an experimental multi-axle modular vehicle intended to increase the efficiency of quarry freight transport. The truck's maximum payload capacity can reach an incredible 760 tons. Its main advantage is its modular design, which consists of a two-axle module with a cab and an engine compartment at the rear, where four power units are located, each with a capacity of 2,574 horsepower. The cargo modules, which consist of a dump body and motor wheels, are directly attached to it. Thanks to the modular design, the trucks can be assembled into giant road trains, with a full-fledged dump truck with a cab at the front, and similar trucks without cabs behind it. Undoubtedly, the future of freight transport and quarries may belong to these advanced trucks that look like they've come straight out of a science fiction movie. 
But while these are still in the testing and refinement stage, the true titans of the quarries remain the good old giant dump trucks with their classic design. 